go ahead and open up our Reduxtagram right here. And we need to modify this router here in order to know about our store because we've done all this work in creating store and our actions, action creator and our reducers. But so far, our application it doesn't know anything about that store. So let's go ahead and change that. Um, let's go below the import React router dependencies and we'll import the provider from React Redux. And this is a new package. We haven't used this yet. And this is essentially the bindings that allows us to use Redux with React. You might think like Redux and React are synonymous, but uh, Redux can really be used with uh, pretty much anything you'd like it to use. And uh, in this case, we're going to be using it with React. So we import this provider here. And then uh, secondary, we also need to import our store, right? Because we created the store in here. We exported it. And then we also uh, created this history here. So let's actually import this default store and our named export of history. So let's see, import store. And then we also want to import the history. We do use the curly brackets there because it's a named export. We use store here because that's a default export from and uh, right now we are in Reduxtagram and we want to grab it from store. Give it a save and refresh and it should be working, but it looks like I've got a bit of an error here. So I just want to run through the debug with you. It says uncaught error expected the routing state to be available as either state.routing or as the custom expression as you specify, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like it's looking for state.routing and what is state? State is our store and it's looking for routing. Um, but it's not there. So I'm going to go back to our root reducer where we created it. And here's where we combined it. It posts, it's not complaining about that. Comments, not complaining about that. But looks like I called it router and not routing. So we got to change that to see routing. Give that a save. And now when I refresh, it looks like everything is now working. You can see that because in our comments.js, and in our posts.js, we are console logging the state and the action. You can see like already some state and some actions are being logged. And this might not look like too, too much to you. But uh, if we open up one of these right here and open up one of these right here, you'll see like, oh, here are my posts. And right now the actions that are being fired are the router change locations. But we also want to figure out how do we get like the actions of uh, all of our action creators firing, like incrementing likes or adding a comment or removing a comment. So let's take a look at how to do that. Head back on over to your reduxtagram.js file. And uh, we've already gone ahead and imp imported this provider, the store, as well as the history. And there's a couple of things we need to do uh, to modify our router right here. First of all, we need to have a provider tag right here. What that's going to do is it's going to expose our store to our actual application here. So I'm gonna wrap the entire router itself in uh, a provider tag. And then that provider tag uh, gets a store prop and we pass it a store that we just imported from here. And then also I told you this browser history. Remember that we went uh, into our store.js and we created browser history, but we synced it with the store. That's what's allowing us to see this stuff in here. So we're exporting it and now we're going to swap out browser history with our actual just history. And that's sort of the, the one that we have exported from here. We've imported it into this file and we've put that in there. So go ahead and give that a save. And we refresh. Now, the way we can tell if this has all worked, we can go over to our React Dev Tools here. We can click on our provider here. You see that now we have this provider and here is our store, right? Here's the store. If you click on provider, open up our console, Gonna clear this out of here. Remember again, dollar $R will show us the currently selected element in our React DevTools, which is the provider. And we can call dot store on it. That's gonna give us the entire store there. And if we wanna see all of the state in there, we can call get state. And you see, you open that up. You can see that we've got our posts, and we've got our comments, all of the information about our store. So now let's take a look at how do we actually uh, dispatch some of these actions that we have in action creators in order to update this actual state right here.